Getting a good beginner flute is so important. Getting a bad, cheap flute might seem like a good idea, but in the end it is going to slow you down and probably cost you a lot more money. But knowing which instrument to buy can be really overwhelming. Hey, I get it. Don't worry though, because today we're going to be looking at some really great, reliable flute options for you. Hi everyone, my name is Tatiana and this is The Flute Practice, a space to help you learn the flute right here online. I am here today at the Flute Center of New York, so I'm not only just going to tell you about these awesome instruments, but actually play them for you and let you hear them firsthand. A huge thank you to the Flute Center for allowing me to come and film in their gorgeous space and also play on their beautiful instruments. And I'm going to tell you guys a little more about them at the end of this video. Okay, so today's flutes are ranged between around $500 up to about $1,100. And yes, that is what it's going to cost you to get a good reliable instrument. At this stage, I know what you're probably thinking. You're thinking, yeah, Tats, but what about those $99 cheap flutes on Amazon? Can't I just get one of those? Don't they work well? The reviews are pretty decent, right? Wrong. No. Just no. And here's why. If you dig a little deeper into those reviews, you'll quickly see a pattern emerging where people get the instruments and at first they're pretty happy and they're like, ah, oh, well, there we go. Why do I need a $500 flute when I can just get one of these cheap ones? And then after a couple of months, the instruments start to deteriorate and break and that's when things start to go really bad, really fast. Because here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna take that instrument in for a pay. The person repairing your instrument is probably just going to tell you that it's not worth fixing and will probably recommend that you go and buy a flute that costs you 500 upward dollars. And so in the end, you're actually just going to end up spending more money and I wanna save you that time and trouble and rather just recommend get one of these instruments immediately. Another problem is, is that you might start playing on those instruments and not realize that it's the instrument that's really causing you to struggle. And so you're gonna think, I just can't play the flute. Meanwhile, it's just your bad instrument. Stay clear of those instruments and rather go for one of these recommended instruments instead. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's dive into my top picks for beginner flutes. First instrument that I have for us here today is the Yamaha YFL222. What a great instrument. In fact, I started on a Yamaha beginner flute, so I will wholeheartedly continue to recommend these wonderful instruments. I'd say they're kind of like the real staple of beginner instruments, and you're never going to go wrong with a good Yamaha. I'm going to play a little bit on this instrument for you, give you an idea of what it sounds like, and then I'm actually going to play and pretend that I am a beginner player, so that perhaps you can get a slightly more realistic sound of what these instruments might sound like when you play on it. So this is first me playing on it. Now, if you're a beginner, this flute might sound a little more like this. A couple of little perks about this instrument. It is a closed hole instrument. Great for starting and learning the flute. You don't have to worry about covering those holes. It's actually got those lovely pointed key arms over there. So you've got the lovely little French pointed arms over there, which is kind of nice. I don't think any of our other instruments have that, so that's quite quite nifty. It's a C foot, it's really nice and lightweight, easy to play, mechanism feels fairly consistent and good. Again, really wonderful, reliable choice, and you will not go wrong with the wonderful Yamaha 222. Our next instrument is a Dijau 301 COA, another really lovely solid choice. I'm gonna play for you a moment on this instrument, but what immediately strikes me about this instrument is that it is really light on the keywork, really easy to play, feels incredibly effortless and really beautiful open sound. It's also a C foot joint, closed hole. We don't have those nice pointed key arms, but to be honest with you at this level, you don't really need them. They actually mostly just look really cool. So let's give it a play. Thank <laughs> you. 
lovely, very responsive, and this gorgeous big full open sound, which I absolutely love about this instrument right here. Let's go for that beginner version, shall we? Trying to be as consistent as possible with my beginner flute playing. I think probably I would say in terms of the sound, I might have a small leg up on that Yamaha. Um, lovely instrument, really, really, really lovely instrument and I can highly recommend it. Okay, so our next flute is the Trevor James 10XC. For those of you who have seen my other video on beginner flutes, where I did a little blind test on some beginner flutes, you'll remember I also tried this instrument but it was the old model or the older model of this. I'm quite excited to try out this new model. Apparently it is quite a big upgrade. Let's give it a play. Lovely, sweet, smooth sound, not quite as open as that Dijau sound, but absolutely gorgeous, slightly different colour of sound, I'd say. It's a lovely lightweight instrument, a wonderful, fantastic choice. You can never go wrong with a good old Trevor James, so definitely added to our list. The last flute on our list for today is the Gemeinhardt 2 SP, another really popular beginner flute choice. Like the other flutes, it's C foot, it's closed hole nice and light. I'm not gonna lie, I love these really nice and light instruments. They're quite delightful to play on. Let's give it a play. I have an outfit change because I played on this instrument yesterday and I think there was a little leak on it so I'm playing on this one again today which I am enjoying a lot more today I actually think this is a gorgeous instrument so I'm actually going to play on this one for you guys today so we can get an accurate feeling of how this instrument plays really really lovely. I think there was a little leak in one of the keys yesterday and it just is such proof and evidence for the fact that if you've got a flute that doesn't work well it's going to get in your way which is why you want to go for a good reliable flute. It was a tiny little tweak that was needed and the flute is in perfect beautiful working condition again. Lovely instrument. I really love how responsive this instrument is. Lovely gorgeous open sound and actually for a beginner flute you can get surprising technical accuracy on this instrument so it's Quite a lovely little instrument. This is the Gemeinhardt 2 SP. There are of course many other really great options here and you may want to phone your local flute shop and get their advice as well. But of course I'm going to highly recommend that you phone up the Flute Center of New York and chat to them. They will actually ship you trial instruments around the US so that you can get a selection of instruments and actually play them from the comfort of your own home and get to know these instruments, get used to their sound and figure out which instrument is best for you. And if you use my promo code PRACTICE you get a couple of extra perks as well such as an extended trial period, extended warranty and free shipping in the US. If you are looking to get started on the flute and don't know where to start well you might want to check out this right over here, click here right now and get started on playing this absolutely gorgeous instrument. Until then, happy practicing and I'll see you guys next time.